Uh, good morning. My name is Thomas Michaels. I am the Regional Labor Market Economist with the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development's Office of Economic Advisors, covering the northwest region of Wisconsin, a 10-county area which includes Ashland, Bayfield, Burnett, Douglas, Iron, Price, Sawyer, Taylor, and Washburn counties. My job as an economist with the department entails me providing demographic and economic information, like I am today, producing reports and county profiles, doing research projects, and customized analysis. Today I'll, I will be sharing with you some key economic and demographic data on our 10-county region and how it compares to the state of Wisconsin as a whole. When looking at this map, which shows the projected population change for the 20-year period of 2015 to 2035, the greener the area, the higher the population growth, the redder the area, the lower the population growth. Northern Wisconsin in general will see lower population growth rates than Southern Wisconsin, with four out of eight negative growth rates appearing in our 10 county region. Burnett and Washburn counties have high growth rates. Douglas, Iron, Sawyer, and Taylor counties have lower but still positive growth rates. Ashland, Bayfield, Price, and Rusk have negative population growth rates. This next map shows what percentage of people ages 18 to 24 are of the total population for the years 2015 compared to 2025. The greener, the lower the percentage, the redder, the higher the percentage. There is not much color category change due to the short time period, but if we look closely, there are a few counties that become greener in 2025 when compared to 2015. Even if colors did not change, the percentage of people ages 18 to 24 decreased with very few exceptions. All 10 of our northwest counties have declining rates. The next map is similar to the previous map, but instead of the 18 to 24 age group, it shows the percent of total population for those 65 and older. The bluer, the lower the population, or the percentage of total population. The redder, the higher the percentage of total population. This map clearly shows the aging of Wisconsin due to the baby boomer generation. In 2015, the majority of Wisconsin is in the dark and light blue categories with the exception of northern Wisconsin. In 2025, it is projected that only a few areas like Eau Claire, Milwaukee, Madison, and Green Bay will be in the blue range. Northern Wisconsin will, mostly with, will be mostly orange and red. What just happened? Um, only three of our 10 counties will have a population with less than 30% over the age of 65. Ashland with 26%, Price with 24%, and Douglas with 22%. Is everything okay? Yep, we're good, keep going. All right. The previous map showed the growing percentage of retired aged people. Um, this map shows the change in the percentage of working age people, people 18 to 64 years old. The bluer, the lower the share of total population, the redder, the higher the share of total population. In 2015, there were no counties with a percentage below 54%. Around half of the counties had percent above 60%. The rural counties had the lower percentages of 18 to 65 year olds. The projections for 2025 shows a decrease of around 5 to 10% with the smaller decreases happening in urban counties and the larger decrease is happening in rural counties. Much of our 10 county region is rural. Three of our 10 counties are projected to have less than 50% of 
of their populations within the 18 to 64 age group. Only Douglas County, which contains the city of Superior, is projected to have a percentage higher, high enough to, be, to not be in the two blue categories. This graph shows the projected percentage for three different age groups, 0 to 19, 20 to 64, and 65 and older, for both Northwest Wisconsin and the state of Wisconsin. The blue line represents the 0 to 19 age group, the red line represents the 20 to 64 age group, and the green line represents the 65 and older age group. The blue lines are almost parallel to one another, with Northwest Wisconsin having a slightly lower percentage of 0 to 19 year olds within its total population. They are both on a slow decline. The red lines both decline over time, with Northwest Wisconsin declining more than Wisconsin. The one age group in the graph that Northwest Wisconsin is higher in when compared to Wisconsin is the 65 and older age group. The gap between Northwest Wisconsin and the state increases over time. Up to this point, we have only been looking at percentages. This table displays the numbers behind the percentages. This table only shows the 20 to 64 and the 65 and older age groups for the year 2015 and 2040 for the 10 counties in Northwest Wisconsin, the Northwest Wisconsin region, and Wisconsin. In each area, the total number of 20 to 64 year olds is projected to decline. Burnett and Washburn counties are projected to see the smallest percentage decreases in our 10 county region at 2 and 4 percent. Price County is projected to lose 37 percent of their 20 to 64 year old population, with Bayfield County losing 34 percent and Russ County losing 31 percent. The Northwest Wisconsin region is projected to lose 16 percent. Wisconsin is projected to lose less than 1% of their 20 to 64 year old population. Looking on the right side of the table, it is a whole different story. Due to the continued aging of the baby boomer generation, the numbers of 65 and older population is projected to explode both in Northwest Wisconsin and the state as a whole. Bayfield County is projected to have more 65 and older residents than 20 to 64 year old residents. Wisconsin is projected to almost double their number with a 72% increase. In the Northwest Wisconsin region, the number is projected to increase 55% in the next 25 years. Now that we have looked at some important demographic data, we will focus on some economic data, starting with Wisconsin wages. This map shows data collected from the quarterly census of employment and wages, the gold standard when it comes to employment and wage data. It is a census, not an estimate. Around 96% of all Wisconsin employment and wage data is collected as part of the quarterly census of employment and wages. The redder, the lower the wage, the greener, the higher the wage. The Wisconsin average wage was $46,031 in 2016. Southeast Wisconsin had much higher average wages than the rest of the state. The counties in Dane, Milwaukee, Waukesha, and Winnebago had the highest average wages in Wisconsin. Northern Wisconsin had the lowest average wages and Northwest Wisconsin's average wage was $34,960. That's $11,071 less than the state average wage, or put in percentage terms, 24% lower. Douglas County had the highest average wage in Northwest Wisconsin, but still lower than Wisconsin's average wage. Bayfield, Burnett, and Iron County had the lowest average wages in our 10-county region. Now looking at the percentage change from 2015 to 2016, 
Red and orange are negative growth rates, and light and dark green are positive growth rates. Wisconsin's average wage grew by 0.2%. Northwest Wisconsin's average wage did not grow, but shrank 1%. Four counties in our region had positive average wage growth, Burnett, Rusk, Sawyer, and Bayfield. The remaining six had negative growth, with Douglas County leading the way at negative 5%, average wage change from 2015 to 2016. This table shows average wages for the past five years using inflation-adjusted dollars. Wisconsin's average wage grew by 5% in the past five years. Every county in northwest Wisconsin had positive average wage growth in the past five years. A few were below the state growth rate, including the region's most populous county, Douglas County, at only 1%. Some had high rates of growth, Rusk with 14%, Taylor with 11%, and Price with 10%. This left Northwest Wisconsin with a five-year growth rate of 5%, the same as the state. Because of this, our region did not fall any further behind the state's average wage level. The average job in Northwest Wisconsin still pays only 77 cents for every $1 that the average job in Wisconsin pays. Bayfield County's 2016 average wage was only 60% of Wisconsin's average, which was the lowest in northwest Wisconsin. Douglas County's 2016 average wage was 89% of Wisconsin's average, which was the highest in northwest Wisconsin. Before the Great Recession, Wisconsin saw its employment levels reach an all-time high in the year 2007. Then during the Great Recession, Wisconsin found a new low in employment in 2010. These two maps show the percentage change in the number of jobs in Wisconsin since the low of the last recession and the high before the last recession. The red, orange, and yellow are all negative growth rates. Light and dark green are positive growth rates. If we examine the job growth rates starting when the Wisconsin economy bottomed out in 2010, the number of total jobs in Wisconsin has grown by 7.5%. Northwest Wisconsin had a growth rate of 1.1%, which is not nearly as good, but it is still positive. Seven of Northwest Wisconsin's 10 counties have positive growth rates. Now if we look at the map on the right, which shows the percentage change in jobs starting at the pre-recession peak in employment in the year 2007 it is a different story. Wisconsin still has a positive employment growth, which means that Wisconsin currently has a new record number of jobs. Northwest Wisconsin, on the other hand, has not recovered all the jobs it had lost during the Great Recession. It has lost 4.4% of its total jobs since 2007. Only two of the region's counties have positive growth rates, Bayfield County and Washburn County. This table contains data from the quarterly workforce indicators. It doesn't have as many suppressed industries as does the quarterly census of employment and wages. It lists different sectors of the economy as well as the total of all industry sectors. For the most part, Northwest Wisconsin mirrors the state pretty well. Here are a few examples of where they differed. In Wisconsin, the information sector grew 2% from 2007 to 2016. In Northwest Wisconsin, it shrunk 23%. The management of companies and enterprises sector grew 49% in Wisconsin but in Northwest Wisconsin, it declined 15%. Accommodations and food services grew 6% in Wisconsin, but declined 4% in Northwest Wisconsin. This map inclu I included just to show the concentration of jobs in the Milwaukee, Madison, and Fox River regions. Only Douglas County has more than 15,000 jobs in our 10-county region. 
The total number of jobs located within our region in 2016 was 64,247. Counties like La Crosse, Marathon, and Rock counties each have more jobs than Northwest Wisconsin. <laughs> Northwest Wisconsin has 20% of Wisconsin's area, but only 2% of the state's jobs. That just shows you how rural Northwest Wisconsin is. This map shows the percentage change in employment for the years 2015 to 2016. Red and orange represent negative growth rates. Yellow, light green, and dark green represent positive growth rates. Burnett, Douglas, Rusk, and Washburn all saw negative growth in their employment numbers. Iron County, on the other hand, had the fifth highest employment growth rates in the state during the one-year period. A few slides back, we saw that Northwest Wisconsin still hasn't gotten back all the jobs it lost during the Great Recession. It had 4.4% fewer jobs in 2016 than it did in 2007. The number of total jobs in Northwest Wisconsin did grow in the last year by 0.5% but the growth rate was less than half the 1.2% growth rate that the state of Wisconsin experienced. This next group of slides show the industry employment and wage data during the years 2012, 2015, and 2016 in greater detail. Because these tables are using quarterly census of employment and wages data, some of the data that could reveal employment and wages of individual businesses had been suppressed. This table shows the data for the sum of all industries. A few highlights are five-year and one-year growth in employment for Wisconsin and Northwest Wisconsin. Growth in wages, on the other hand, has slowed for the state in the past year and has decreased 1% in Northwest Wisconsin. Moving on to the natural resources and mining industry, Wisconsin has seen 15.1% growth in the last five years. Taylor and Washburn counties have both seen even better growth in percentage terms with 25.3% and 41.8% growth in the last five years. Wisconsin saw a negative one year percentage change. Half of Northwest Wisconsin counties also experienced negative wage growth during the same period. The construction industry's employment saw a high growth rate of 20.2% in Wisconsin and 8.7% in Northwest Wisconsin in the last five years. The change in wages has been positive at the state level, showing 8.6% growth but at the regional level, it decreased 5.7% in the last five years. Employment and manufacturing saw a decrease in the last, five, in the last year of 0.5% in Wisconsin and negative 2% in Northwest Wisconsin. One of the only bright spots in Northwest Wisconsin was Douglas County, which saw an increase of 5.9%. Not only was manufacturing employment down in Wisconsin and our region, but wages were down as well. Negative 1.3% in Wisconsin and negative 1.2% in Northwest Wisconsin. It appears that the new manufacturing jobs in Douglas County were low paying because wages in Douglas County shrank by 16.8% in a one year period. The trade, transportation, and utilities sector has seen statewide and regional growth in the last five years. But over the last year, employment has decreased in northwest Wisconsin by 0.5%. Trade, transportation, and utilities in Douglas County is Douglas County's largest industry, and its employment decreased by 5.4% in 2016. Similar to other industries in 2016, wages decreased in both Wisconsin and Northwest Wisconsin over the past year. In 
In Wisconsin, the information industry has seen strong five-year growth in both employment and wages. Employment grew by 5.3% and wages grew by 15.9%. In Douglas County, employment grew by 98.9%, but the high growth led to lower wages. Average annual wages decreased by 34.4%. The financial activities industry sector employment has decreased over the last five years at both the state level and the regional level, but the one-year percentage change has been slightly positive with 0.6% growth in Wisconsin and 0.5% growth in northwest Wisconsin. Wage growth has been positive over both time periods, with northwest Wisconsin wages growing more than Wisconsin's wages, but it is still $28,750 lower than the average state wage. The five-year percentage change of professional and business services employment was 10.9% for Wisconsin and a negative 18.7% for Northwest Wisconsin. Wage growth was positive for both Wisconsin and Northwest Wisconsin with a rate of 10.5% and 18.2% respectively. Douglas County had a five-year change in employment of negative 31.7%, but a 40.5% gain in average wages. Price County had a similar inverse relationship between employment and wages. Wisconsin and Northwest Wisconsin saw positive employment growth in education and health services over the past year. Wisconsin with 1.3% and Northwest Wisconsin with 1.9%. Iron County and Price County saw high growth of 6% and 6.1%. With this, employment growth did not come average wage growth. Wisconsin's wages stayed basically the same. Northwest Wisconsin wages decreased 0.3%. Iron County's wages decreased 5.3%, and Price County's wages decreased 0.8%. Leisure and hospitality employment grew in the past year by 2% for Wisconsin and 1.6% for Northwest Wisconsin. Iron County's employment grew by more than 10% at 10.9%. Washburn County was not far behind with a growth rate of 9.6%. Wisconsin's and Northwest Wisconsin's one-year wage growth was a little lower than 1.5% for each. The other services industry sector's employment had very small one-year growth of 0.1% in Wisconsin. Its wage growth was 2.1% for the same period. Northwest Wisconsin saw a small decrease of both employment and average wages, negative 0.2% and negative 0.1% respectively. During the past year, the public administration sector employment grew in Wisconsin and all but one county in northwest Wisconsin. The county that saw the decrease in employment was Burnett County with a 5.1% decrease. The majority of northwest Wisconsin counties, as well as the state as a whole, experienced a decrease in average wages in the past year. This reverses strong positive five-year percentage changes in all but Bayfield County. The previous slides showed the average annual wage by industry using data from the quarterly census of employment and wages. This slide contains a table with data from the five-year 2011 through 2015 American Community Survey. The American Community Survey numbers are estimates, which means there will be a certain margin of error with all of the numbers. The table displays the estimated median income of households and the estimated mean income of households within Wisconsin and Northwest Wisconsin. 
Uh, just a quick review of the difference between median and mean. Median is the value that separates the lower half of a group of numbers with the higher half. Mean is the average. When looking at income data, a few millionaires would dramatically increase the mean income in a small county. Therefore, we will be looking at the median household income. The median household income for all households in Wisconsin was $53,357. In Northwest Wisconsin, it was only 81% of that total. It was uh, $43,295. Households with the highest income tend to be those of married couples. $78,756 in Wisconsin and $61,982 in Northwest Wisconsin. Married coupled households median income was around 45% higher than the median income of the average household and around 150% higher than non-family households. Using the same data source, the American Community Survey, this map shows the percentage of each county's population that lives below the poverty level. The level of income a household must be under to be classified as in poverty is different for each household based on family size, age of children, etc. The greener the map, the lower the level of poverty. The redder, the higher the level of poverty. The only red county in Wisconsin is Menominee County, which is a American Indian reservation. Over one-third of its population lives in poverty. The suburbs surrounding Milwaukee have the lowest levels of poverty. Northwest Wisconsin has higher than average levels of poverty. This table breaks down the data by age group. In general, a higher percentage of Northwest Wisconsin's population lives in poverty when compared to Wisconsin. 15% versus 13%. Iron County had the lowest level at 11%, and Sawyer County had the highest level at 17%. When looking at the different age groups, the under 5 age group has the greater share of its age group living in poverty than any other age group, 21% in Wisconsin, and 28% in Northwest Wisconsin. Uh, Burnett County, it was 41% and Sawyer County, 40%, Russ County, 36%. The 65 and older age group is the least likely to live in poverty. These are the 2014 to 2024 industry projections for Northwest Wisconsin. These are produced by the Department of Workforce Development. This table shows the industry employment in 2014 compared to the projected industry employment in 2024. The total of all industry employment is projected to grow 3.6% over the 10-year period. Only three industry sectors are projected to decrease by 2024. The information sector at negative 27.1%, other services at negative 5.8 percent and government at negative 0.6 percent. Self-employed workers are projected to see growth of 9.5 percent. The largest regional sector, education and health services, is projected to grow 5.4 percent. Trade, transportation, and utilities is projected to grow 3.2 percent and manufacturing is projected to grow 1.6 percent. The 2014 to 2024 occupation projections for Northwest Wisconsin are also produced by the Department of Workforce Development. This graph shows the occupation groups that are projected to have the most yearly openings in descending order. 
Yearly openings are divided into two groups, new jobs created by business expansion and replacement jobs, which are created when an employee is either fired, quits, or retires. As you can see, most of the yearly openings are replacement jobs due to the aging of the workforce. The occupational groups projected to have the most openings in new jobs are food preparation and serving occupations, management occupations, personal care occupations, and transportation and material moving occupations. Next, we will look at two maps comparing non-seasonally adjusted unemployment rates for May 2016 and May 2017. The redder, the higher the unemployment rate. The greener, the lower the unemployment rate. Historically, Northwest Wisconsin has had some of the highest unemployment rates in Wisconsin, with Iron County having the second highest unemployment rate in Wisconsin. Only one other county has a higher rate than Iron County. That county is Menominee. Last year, Northwest Wisconsin's unemployment rate was 4.9% compared to Wisconsin's unemployment rate of 3.8%. In the last year, Wisconsin has seen a one percentage point reduction in its unemployment rate. Northwest Wisconsin saw an even larger decrease of 1.4 percentage points. This graph, this graph shows the steady decline in unemployment rates since the height of the Great Recession. The non-seasonally adjusted unemployment rates in 2010 for Northwest Wisconsin was 10.3 percent. For Wisconsin, it was 8.7 percent. And for the United States, it was 9.6 percent. In those five years, Northwest Wisconsin's rate decreased 4.6 percentage points. Wisconsin's decreased 4.7 percentage points. And the United States decreased 4.5 percentage points. This graph shows the historic trends in the labor force participation rate for Northwest Wisconsin, Wisconsin, and the United States. The labor force participation rate is the total number of people working or looking for work divided by the total number of those who are at least 16 years old who are non-institutionalized. Historically, the state of Wisconsin has had a high labor force participation rate when compared to the United States. Northwest Wisconsin, on the other hand, has had a lower labor force participation rate, mostly due to the older population. Wisconsin's median age in 2015 was 39.4 years old. Northwest Wisconsin's median age, on the other hand, was 47.6 years old. That's a difference of 8.2 years. The data behind these two maps are from the U.S. Census Bureau's Longitudinal Employer Household Dynamics Program. The program estimates where people live and where those same people work, allowing the creation of commuter inflow and outflow data. The map on the left shows that about 94,000 people traveled into Wisconsin to work, and 2.6 million people live and work in Wisconsin. And 153,000 people that live in Wisconsin actually work outside of Wisconsin. The map on the right shows the same thing, but for northwest Wisconsin. 16,295 people travel into northwest Wisconsin to work, 47,285 live and work within Northwest Wisconsin, and 31,809 people that live in Northwest Wisconsin work outside of Northwest Wisconsin. This slide shows the same data but in greater detail. For Wisconsin, the difference between those commuting outside the state and those commuting into the state 
is 59,477 workers. Northwest Wisconsin is a net exporter of workers as well. The difference between those commuting outside the region and those commuting in is 15,264 workers. This large amount is due mostly to the proximity Douglas County is to the city of Duluth. The last thing we will be looking at is the regional housing market. The median sales price of homes in northwest Wisconsin is lower than Wisconsin's median sales price, but they both follow the same trend over time. There was a high in 2007, a big dip during the Great Recession, and a gradual increase in sales prices back to pre-recession levels. This map shows the median year that a home was built. The greener, the older, the redder, the newer. Milwaukee County has the oldest housing stock of any Wisconsin county. St. Croix County has the newest due to the county becoming one of the Twin Cities suburbs. Bayfield, Burnett, Sawyer, and Washburn counties have relatively newer homes than the rest of northwest Wisconsin. Douglas and Ashland counties have an older housing stock. I have heard it said that the city of Superior has the oldest housing stock in the state of Wisconsin. Its median year that a home was built is 1954, tied with Milwaukee County. But if you look at Ashland, Hurley, and Park Falls, all of them have even older median housing stocks. Northwest Wisconsin has a newer housing stock than Wisconsin. It has a greater share of homes that were built between 1970 through 2009 than the state. Northwest Wisconsin's median year built of 1975 is much closer to the United States year of 1976 than Wisconsin's year of 1972. Um, I know I threw a lot at you this morning. Um, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> 